Stephen King's Children of the Corn, an adult nightmare. I did not know that there was some being, some monster that lived under the corn that was telling them what to do. I don't know. Spoiler. Have you seen this movie? Let's no. Just, oh, let's just get into the shit. <laughs> so out September 28th on 4K Ultra HD from Arrow Video in the US and in the UK is Children of the Corn. So Children of the Corn getting a brand new 4K restoration from the original camera negative presented in the one and only Dolby Vision. It's a two-disc edition and includes some new features such as a retrospective featurette on the making of Children of the Corn, as well as a featurette revisiting the original Iowa filming locations. The rest of the stuff like the commentaries, the interviews, and whatnot are all from previous releases. You do have this new art, but you can it's reversible. So you could go back to the original art, which again, I feel like they're trying to make some refreshing take on the art, but the original art with just the hand holding the scythe up mm -hmm. and against the corn and the sky's red, it's like, that's effective as hell. Like, you know? I, don't, I like this art. It's not horrible, but again, you're you're giving a lot away. You're giving this kid away. He kind of transforms at the end a little bit. Obviously, some shit going down. The, the corn's on fire. People are screaming. It's called Children of the Corn. It's I not like it. I, no, <laughs> it's not like I'm expecting a drama about children or something. Like, <laughs> obviously, it's a horror movie. We've he has the red corn. He has red eyes on the cover. I mean, is this a drama? What kind of spoiler is that? Like, I know. That <laughs> this is a drama? Okay. So. <laughs> So check this Your out. Your take is off. You're always bitching about the same old shit. If you're into this at all, exact same day, Arrow is also releasing a box set version of Children of the Corn. Now this is a UK exclusive, this box set. It's a four disc set and it's coming with that exact Children of the Corn 4K disc. It's coming with additionally Children of the Corn 2, the final sacrifice on blue only, but it does contain on that blue the international and the US theatrical cut. It also has Children of the Corn 3 Urban Harvest on blue also with the unrated international cut with the extended ending and the R-rated US cut as well. So two cuts of Children of the Corn 2 and 3 on each of those discs plus the Children of the Corn original in 4K in that box set. You're also going to get additional commentaries, interviews, a look at the development process of these additional films, 2 and 3. You're getting the original uh, 2.0 audio. I, I know a lot of people really look for that. You're also getting DTS audio also for all three films. There's a big 60-page booklet that comes with it, a poster featuring the original art, and then all of the movies have reversible sleeves. All three of the films, they all have new artwork, but they are all reversible. And honestly, again, in all these situations, I think the reversible art's pretty cool. Even this new art's cool. I don't know. I don't know this movie well enough to know which of these characters they're highlighting here. Yeah. I know the first one. I don't know these second two guys or what's going on there. But you can get the original art flipped around if you did want that. Do you know what this reminds me of? Scream Factory do these, like they did it with the Fly set, the uh, Amityville Horror. They did the first three trilogy, the Critters Collection. I like these because you got to think about it. There are some fans out there. I know I am with, say, Nightmare on Elm Street where – even when they're bad sequels, you, you just have like a soft spot for them. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to have like a nice a set, yeah. you know, with the emphasis on the original, but then you get the other ones. You know, yeah. a lot of these are guilty pleasures for people. I thought and remember the movie, first movie, not being very good. And it doesn't sound like any, they got much better afterwards. Seize him, punish him, cut him down, I command you. From a critical standpoint, right. of course, no one's saying right. that Children of the Corn 3 is winning yeah. any Oscars. But what I'm saying is this set exists for a reason for fans. And I mean, that's that's cool to have. I, I like when these like lesser sequels get a decent release. And like you said about, you know, Legend and some other ones where it's like Arrow celebrating clearly a misfire to some degree. But even if you've never seen Children of the Corn, you know Children of the Corn. Like, you yes. know the name, you oh, know yeah. of it, like, you know what it's about. Like, it's just permeated, you know, mm -hmm. everything. So it does warrant some some sort of release, regardless of the quality. The whole South Park episode on it. Yeah. Outlander! We have your woman! She still lives, Outlander! So I did forget, though, at the time when I was, I was looking at this news, that Linda Hamilton was in this, as was Peter 30-something Horton. And then the only other kind of people I remember were the little kid that's sort of like the, you know, the leader of everyone. And then that annoying ass redheaded kid who is in and back the burbs got like an overbite, the red, he's older in the burbs. And he's in back to the future 
After McFly decks Biff and he gets Lorraine, they're doing the dance. Some redheaded kid's like, scram, McFly! And he's like, kind I of... Didn't know, I didn't know that And he's like, ah! <laughs> he's like doing an awful cackle of a laugh and the music's getting real tense because, you know, like Michael J. Fox's family's disappearing and he's like, oh, I know, I know exactly again? what scene you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, Enchantment him. Under the Sea at the end of it, yep. but I didn't realize that was a oh, while. Wow. But they've actually captured his likeness pretty good on this box. So the one thing that's interesting about this too is they've kind of captured uh, Children of the Corn 1, 2, and 3, but... Would you know that there's actually 11 Children of the Corn movies? Uh, it's just about, I, I, I know there's more. I know there's way more 11. than three. There's 11 of them. Holy that's crap. why. Well, that's why I said this reminds me of the Amityville one in particular from Scream Factory because the same thing. There are a ton of Amityville movies. Yes, but it just focused on the first three. Yeah, I, mean, I like that. Is that like know? a cutoff point where they're like, okay, look, one was. Passable two got worse. Three is where we're going to stop because beyond that, like that's it. that's up to the fans. These are the titles. You had Children of the Corn, then you had Children of the Corn: The Final Sacrifice, then you had Urban Harvest, which is funny because I guess they went into like a Jason takes Manhattan. Then you've got Children of the Corn Four: The Gathering, then Five: Fields of Terror. Children of the Corn 666, actually, Isaac comes back, and that's the little boy who is, like, in the first one, and now he's, like, a grown man. I thought he got killed in the first one, but he, somehow he comes back. They start dropping the numbers. Now it's Revelation, and then the next one was a television miniseries that was a remake of the original. Was Stephen King behind that? So it's actually from a producer of the original Children of the Corn. He was, like... I don't think this movie captured what the Stephen King book was or the essence of it. I want to do a, a miniseries to really expand on that. He reaches out to Stephen King and he asks him for help and, and his blessing and will he join him in some way. And Stephen King told him to F off. <laughs> he didn't even want to be a part of it. He was like, I'm, I don't want any more to do with these. Like, do whatever you're going to do. Like, it's over. Like, I'm done. So he g didn't get any blessing. So he put that shit out. Hmm. So then after that was Children of the Corn Genesis, Children of the Corn Runaway. And then finally, in 2020, from the Kurt Wimmer, yes, Children of the Corn, the prequel. And it was just titled Children of the Corn. So that was film 11, and that was last year. It's funny to me that B-tier sort of horror movies like this get that many sequels. I mean, yeah, it was groundbreaking. And again, like I mentioned, you can reference it uh, and you can see how it permeated everything but that they continue to 11 that they it, like there wasn't a nail in the coffin after the mini series or any of these other things they just keep on there's just more to squeeze like i just don't know how, how does this stuff keep getting funding who's watching these things russ horror <laughs> is cheap to produce mm -hmm. you do not need stars and there's name brand recognition as you mentioned before That's debunked it. out september 28th get your call.